the outskirts of Bristol early on Sunday morning. Former Welsh international Chris Horseman has an appointment with the next stage of his rugby career. After hanging up his boots, he's learning to become a referee. Horseman was forced to retire from top flight rugby after a serious neck injury. But he didn't want to leave the game he loved, and the next best thing to playing is officiating. To be totally honest, it's been in my mind for the last couple of years. My biggest worry with rugby is that the ethos and the traditions of rugby stay exactly the same. I, I would hate to see that go, and, and not just at the top level, but at the junior level. And the game works because we have players and we have referees, and it works because everyone respects each other and there's mutual respect and we all rub along together. Yeah. Every year over 3,000 would-be referees take part in courses like this all over the country and Horseman is a firm believer that more former players should follow his lead. Hopefully it will encourage people to get involved in refereeing because it's so important and it will give an opportunity for players to stay involved in the game because what's going to happen now is players my age who started the professional game are going to start to be leaving the game and most of us have gone in and been one thing and one thing only, and you're only that. Horseman's aim is to become an international referee, but like playing, it's a long way to the top. In effect, there's probably about seven stages referees go to to get to the top end of the game. Some guys can go through very, very rapidly, uh, and, and the pathway allows them to do that. Um, the rough idea from someone to reach national panel level is something between five and seven years, but that's coming down quite clearly because players are coming across earlier. Knock on, turnover ball. OK, just hold it there, hold it. Let's pull it in again. Just going to vary it again. Again, Chris, just really definite. Let's everyone just be definite with the penalty. Yeah, so bang, arms straight up and everyone knows where we are then, yeah? So knocked on, just knocked on, turnover ball, OK? Horseman had a reputation as a tough, no-nonsense prop. The scrum remains a mystery to many, but he's hoping his inside knowledge will be an advantage. OK, gentlemen, um, what I'm looking for today, basic pushing competition, OK? You know, keep it honest, keep it straight, and we'll have a nice day at the office, OK? So, signals are pretty basic. You've probably heard them a million times before. Going to set a mark. You set your distances. It's going to be crouch, touch, Pause, engage. Only go on my engage. I'll try and make it as consistent as I can through the game. Don't give me any problems and we'll have a lovely day. OK? okay. There is dark arts to it. It is, 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 is a mutual club and you go in there. But to me, my biggest concern with the scrum is now that it's not lost from the game. Playing at the top level of it and okay, maybe doing right. a few little tricks and what have you. I can maybe pre-identify them and make the Touch. game flow better, not have to keep Pause. resetting them Engage. and, you know, obviously make it safe. Keep straight, that's it. Oi, 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 you, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Experience as a player at the highest level should be an advantage for Chris, but there are also potential drawbacks he'll need to watch out for. Just the benefits he can bring from his experience back into the game will be fantastic. I think where he may find it a little bit difficult is actually refereeing at the community game is slightly different than refereeing and playing at international level. So, but I'm sure that you'll make the adjustment. The law book is over 150 pages long. Having fallen foul of a fair few of the laws during his playing career, Horseman has his own views on what makes a good referee. I've been waiting a long time for this. I've looked through the rule book, but to be honest, I don't think it's the rule book that teaches you to be a referee. It's how you implement those rules and you look at the situation. And the great thing about this course is, and you know the referees I've spoken to and all the good referees, they look at the material effect of what's happening on the game and look at the context in which it's happening. So I've given the penalty, so yeah. first thing I would have done, yeah. clear signal blast. Number six, captain, come over here please. I'd wait for the captain yeah. to come in, making sure no other players got involved, pushing them okay. away, making sure, no, stay away. I'd look at you, I'd say, I saw what you did, it was dangerous play. You were rucking, but you were rucking the man. It was a deliberate attempt to injure someone. For that, you're spending 10 minutes in the bin. If I see it again after that, you're going to cut down my options. Do you understand? Yeah. And so far, so good. Chris and his class all passed their level one qualification. Hopefully just the start of long and rewarding careers. Well, I'm joining the uh, Bristol Referee and Society, and uh, hopefully by the start of the season, well, I can't see any reason why not. At the start of the season, I'll be out there Breathing, so uh, yeah, watch out. <laughs>